Right guys, so welcome back. So over the past few days, there has been some new information regarding the upcoming event for Operation North Star. We've known for a little while now that it is going to be a Rainbow Six Extraction themed event that is going to coincide with Rainbow Six Extraction's release. We don't know if it's going to be a few weeks apart from the release or bang on the release date. We're not so sure about that yet. Considering Rainbow Six Extraction releases on September 16th, I feel that's quite a bit late for this event to fit inside this season. So my best guess is this event is probably going to come a few weeks before the actual release of Rainbow Six Extraction. But we have known for a little while now that it is going to be an extraction themed event and we also know it's going to be set on Consulate. Now this is obviously going to be a more spiced up sort of extraction themed version of Consulate. Thanks to Zero Bytes on Twitter we actually have a look at some artwork of how this is going to look and obviously the layout is going to be still the same old Consulate map, nothing's going to change there. But as you can see it seems like there is some sort of nest area inside as you can see some of the nest stuff is actually coming out of the window and it seems to be shut down down as a containment zone with a lot of yellow containment walls coming out of the front and it seems to be like only authorized access allowed in. Now I know that the events in Rainbow Six Siege don't really count towards the lore, they're kind of you know non-canon based because obviously like Sugar Fry and Doctor's Curse and all that makes zero sense as part of the lore. But considering Rainbow Six Extraction is actually canon in the Rainbow Six Siege sort of universe and storyline and Rainbow Six Extraction actually does take some place in the future. Um, we're not really sure about a date, we're kind of guessing about four or five years after the current season of Siege. Granted, time technically doesn't pass in Rainbow Six Siege, but it does. It doesn't really make sense, you know, there's no seasons, there's continuing in time because more people are joining the force and everything and there's a lore behind that. Uh, yet operators don't age, so technically time does and doesn't, you know, progress in Siege. But I'm going to guess that maybe this event is actually going to set up the lore for what's going to happen in Rainbow Six Extraction. Maybe it's going to, you know, just give a little bit of groundwork uh, that maybe Outbreak didn't give because Outbreak was kind of a different sort of virus altogether. So maybe this event is going to set up some of the groundwork lore for Rainbow Six Extraction when that releases in September. So thanks to Sky Official on Twitter, we actually have a look at some of the skins coming and some lore behind this. Right, so when editing this, I realized I just completely forgot to read through the stuff I said I was going to read through. But as far as I'm aware, he's not actually finished uh, talking about it all. So I'm just going to wait until, you know, a later date once the entire thing is finished. You can go check it out right now on Sky Official, linked below. But um, instead of talking about like half the story that isn't even finished yet, um, I'm just going to wait till a later date rather than add it onto this video after and just make it a lot longer. So uh, we'll talk about it another day, but if you want to Go check out Sky Official where he's tweeting out uh, pretty much daily or every two days. He'll be linked in the description. But uh, yeah, we're going to continue with this video. Uh, sorry about that. Now, I'm not sure where they've got some of this information from, but they've been tweeting out on different days sort of these sort of sentences that once string together kind of make a full paragraph. I don't think they're done yet, but as it currently stands, I'm going to read through it all they have put now. So definitely check them out on Twitter. They will be linked in the description uh, and keep up with the updates of that lore. But first, we're going to look at some of the skins they showed off. Uh, they showed off four. One is a, a containment skin for IQ. Now this matches the uniforms and headgears that you actually seen in the Rainbow Six Extraction reveal trailer and what you actually wear in that game. There also seems to be another one here for Ace, which is quite cool. He um, it's quite funny, he's got a helmet on, but yet underneath he's still refusing to wear his mask over his face correctly, which is really funny. Um, bit annoying that they've done that, but it is a really cool headgear, so I can kind of give him a pass for that, and I actually really do like this set a lot. And now, that is the attackers we have a look at there. There's also two defenders we get to see skins as well, and this kind of sets up what the game mode is as well. So the attackers are, you know, Rainbow Six operatives in containment gear, then the next one is actually one for Mira and Jaeger and they seem to be some of the sort of aliens from Extraction themselves because as you can see um, you can see Mira there and you can also see Jaeger and I actually kind of like the Jaeger one I feel like he's got a massive head so it seems to be a massive hitbox but honestly I think I prefer the Jaeger one over the uh, the Mira one I definitely prefer the attacker skins over the defender skins i really like the containment skins i think they're very nice and i'm excited to pick up hopefully the whole set of them uh, i think the defender ones are all right like i said i think the jaeger one's quite cool but i'm not the biggest fan of them but if you haven't guessed from this point onwards as you can see from the attackers defenders leaked skins this game mode is going to be like i said set on consulate on an extraction themed version of consulate attackers are going to be in the react sort of containment gear and the defenders are actually going to be the alien sort of villains which are actually from extraction. 
And going back to some of the leaks by Zero Bytes, we actually have some information uh, about what the game mode is going to be. So first off, it's going to be a 5v5 3 minute round and the game mode is Nest Destruction. So pretty standard 5v5 in 3 minute, nothing too insane there. Uh, objectives, attackers must enter the infested consulate, destroy the minor nests and then destroy the main armored nest. Proteans must defend the nests. So Proteans I believe is the official name of like the sort of aliens and stuff like that. I just, it always slips my mind, it's easier to say alien, but Proteans are what the defenders are in this mode and obviously the attackers are the sort of react containment operators. And at the last bit here, it says proteins are strange organisms with human-like features. They use melee attacks to eliminate threats and can fast dash through soft surfaces. So what it seems to be is attackers have to go in. I believe to destroy the nest is going to be similar to bombs. So you're going to have to do some sort of defusal thing, whether you're like injecting it with something or maybe you're actually just going to have to shoot it. I feel like shooting is a bit too easy. I feel like it is going to be some sort of diffuser thing like bomb. But instead of just stopping at one, you've got to destroy, I don't know, maybe two before you can then reach the main one and then defuse that. However, I feel about three minutes seems a bit short for that. So I'm not going to, sh I'm not really sure how many any small nests they're going to be before you get to the main armored nest or if it's not going to be the fusel and you're actually going to have to shoot the small nest and then go to the main armored nest. Perhaps all the small nests are all one shot but there's like 15 of them or maybe not as many as that but there's a bunch of them around the map and then once you destroy all of them just by shooting them once you can then attack the main one which let's say has like 250 HP. And the defenders actually don't even have weapons, they use melee weapons it says. But if we also go back and look at the skins which I just shown off for Mira and Jaeger, you see that they actually have weapon skins to go with that set. Now I'm going to assume that is purely just to go along with the bundle and you're not going to be using these in the game modes. It's purely just for the bundle reason and to match the set because obviously in the main game you want a weapon skin to match your set but in the actual game mode itself you're not going to actually be using it. And this is kind of confirmed by Killer Tree on Twitter who actually managed to unlock this in a custom game on House. Now this isn't going to be the map that's going to be in the event but he managed to unlock sort of the mechanics that you're actually going to use as a defender. Uh, basically what he said is defenders are going to have 650 health, they are going to have an oryx dash just like it was saying they can dash through walls and they're going to have barbed wire. Attackers are pretty much normal then he showed a little clip of him playing in a custom game as a defender as you can see he has 645 health so I'm assuming obviously he's lost five damage and he's running through the walls as Oryx and as you can see he climbs out the window and everything and he does the die of full damage but another thing to note as well is his melee was a one hit on the windows that you know usually a three hit on a barricade so it seems like melee is going to be a bit more stronger for these people but when it comes down to it they're not going to have any weapons so it's purely up for them to have a knife fight and you know oryx dash fight but if they're going to have 650 health how the hell is an attacker going to you know compete with that like you could be really good at the game but if someone's close range with you and they've got 650 health your gun is probably not going to win that if they've got an oryx dash and a knife it's 650 health they're probably going to win that gunfight unless they're insanely far away and they can't get close to you um i don't know it sounds a bit strange but i guess it's been play tested and it probably will work out to be quite balanced and you know quite fun and honestly i think this game mode sounds really fun i must really enjoy game modes where it's like you know like knife fights and stuff like that obviously this is a one-sided knife fight but there seems to be obviously one of them has six, the people with the knife have 650 health. And the entire premise of the game mode actually sounds quite fun. So overall, I am actually quite excited for this event. It doesn't really seem to be like the apocalypse event, for example, where it was kind of just basic siege, but they called it an event. This actually seems to be something unique. We get, you know, get to play around with new gimmicks, you know, more health, knife only. Uh, you got, you got to destroy nests and stuff like that. All the defenders can use like an oryx dash. I am, um, yeah, it just sounds really exciting. So yeah, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below about this upcoming containment event. I am super excited for this game mode. I'm also very excited for Rainbow Six Extraction. Uh, even though I've talked a lot of stuff about how I'm worrying about a lot of, you know, different things, a lot of features that are missing and stuff like that, how I think it should be improved. I am overall still excited for the game and I am excited for this event. But yeah, I'm going to end this here. So have an incredible rest of your day. I hope you all stay safe and I love you all. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,